Well, this is the, by the way, this is the timeline you provided? Yes. The Does DJ have had a big responsibility, as you know, maybe, that wedding DJs are different than club DJs. Than are... club DJs, certainly. <laughs> but, yes, whoever is doing that has to know what to announce. He didn't announce anything. You're DJ, right? You picked him. So, the agreement was she was gonna coordinate the day of. Right. She didn't go to the DJ, she didn't go to the photographer, she well, didn't coordinate. Tell me one of the things that wasn't done. The money uh, dance. The money dance just isn't happening. No, Wha because there's a Bonda band over here, and then, a, like, right here is the DJ, and they were not coordinating. <laughs> So They're not working with each other. But that's what your job is, the coordinating. Right. So did you go up and say, folks, stop, money dance time? No, because everybody was up dancing to the Bonda. So then and they were having a good time. I'm not going to stop when they're dancing and having a great time. Judge Corriero. Now, it's amazing to me how many things went wrong. Here's what the plaintiff says about the day of the wedding. Mm -hmm. The photographer failed to take pictures of my husband and I in a lowrider. The DJ introduced my wedding party incorrectly because Nicole gave him the wrong names. Absolutely not. Some of the dining tables didn't have tablecloths. She says that the chairs were the wrong style. My guests had to eat their food on styrofoam because the plates Instead weren't of put out. And your version of all this is that you're just there at the wedding? You really had to coordinate all of this. And the fact that you claim that the vendors were part of her family doesn't relieve you of that responsibility. No, I, not, I just realized Matter of fact, that... that's why you offered to give her back $2,700. In the Am very I right? beginning, I did, because I felt bad for her. It was a disaster. Yeah, but the things You with don't the... deny that. Well, it was a disaster no, as far I mean, as... But if you reasons, look at her face and you look at the video, reasons. she's happy. The point happy. is, though, that you are the one that has to coordinate all of this mm -hmm. because her head is on getting married. Okay. Ma'am, were you oh. about to have surgery five days later? Uh, yeah. Because that was in the complaint that you might have been lethargic because you were prepping for a major surgery gastric bypass surgery. And what I know about wedding planners, and I've seen them in action, is that they need to run from one position to the next. I mean, have comfortable shoes on because they're on the go. Yes, and I was. You were on the go? I was on the go. On the go where exactly? Doing what were you things doing? behind the scenes and... Because this picture here is just not... Th this does it for me. Like, you couldn't take a steamer to that? Because at least that table should have just been... Pristine, well, it right? should have. She's and I had, from it, of a white plastic fork. There's red solo cups. Like it's just. Well, I don't know it, who brought the solo cups. So. <laughs> it seems like you didn't know a whole lot, ma'am. And I think you were in over your head. I think that you needed some help. And I what, definitely what, could have used some help. You gave me the impression that you agreed to pay the plane of twenty-seven hundred dollars, and then you said in the beginning. Are you changing your mind about you owing her anything? Do you not feel well, that she's owed a refund? Well, now I'm looking at things that were out of my control. I mean, I was willing... I, I, in the beginning when it happened, I was surprised, but then I thought, oh, there's so many things that went wrong, but let me kind of go down and look at them. And so I had replied to each one of them. Okay, Several... what, do you, what do you believe you owe her? Because you admitted today that you dropped the ball, at least with regards to the flowers. I did, I did. So what do you feel is fair? 1500 all right, I think we're going to excuse the parties while we deliberate on this matter. Thank you. This is a disaster. Yeah. This one, is all I needed to see. One photograph is worth <laughs> That's a all I needed words. to see. <laughs> because if any table Ooh. should be just stunning, it should be the bride and grooms. And this is just yeah. so unacceptable. Yeah. I, I feel like this wedding was a disaster. I feel like the defendant was a disaster. She has admitted in text messages and emails her testimony today that she has dropped the ball. Yeah. Her $1,500 that she feels is fair compensation for this is just unacceptable. So I'm inclined to award Ms. Duran for sure pain and suffering, because this is this is her wedding. Emotional distress, yeah. And honestly, I want your thoughts she on that. She paid $7,400. $7,400, yeah. $7, yeah. Okay. She bought the stuff. So the services is what she actually paid for, and she didn't do anything. Right. Are we inclined to give her the max? Yeah, I don't even think we need to get to emotional distress. Right. I agree with you. I would go with $5,000. We have a verdict. Okay. We have that a verdict. Was a quick one. Yes. yes.